So in this video, we're going to talk about different types of fiberglass. We get questions from time to time. Your plans call for, say, 1208, but I have some 1708. It's only one number different. Can I use it? Well, we're going to talk about why the answer is normally no, and we'll show you a few different types of fiberglass and how they're different. So fiberglass can either be stitched or woven. So the first example that we look at is this fiberglass that's stitched. If you look very closely, you can see these small threads. This is the stitching that holds the glass fiber together. Those threads are not part of the structure. These large fibers that run vertical right here, those are. If you notice on the other side, the glass fibers run the other direction. So this would be called 090. So this is a, a 090. And we use the word biax when we describe two threads. So bi meaning two, axial meaning two axis. So biaxial or biax. So this one is just cl um, cloth. All right. So now let's take a look at one that is also biax, but they run 45-45. So if you look here, you can still see these, see these stitch, little tiny stitch lines. But if you look at the main fibers, they're running on an angle of 45. And if we go to the other side, we're in the opposite direction. So this is a 45-45 biax. All right. <clears throat> now, you can also have what they call triaxial or quadaxial. Tri meaning three, quad meaning four. So if you look at this particular one, you can see the fibers running here at this angle. And if I flip it over, now they're running this direction. Well, in between, which will be hard to see on the video, but the fibers that run 45 this direction, there's also 45 this direction plus this straight line. So that's triaxial, meaning it has three directions. If it was quadaxial, there would be a fourth direction coming here. So, the reason why some are in this 45-45 orientation and some are in 090 has to do with how they're used in the boat and what they're used for. And we'll talk about that in a minute. All right, next we're going to talk about woven. So if you look at this example, you can see almost like a checkerboard pattern as, part, as fibers run left to right and up and down, and they interweave together. So that's where they get the word woven. See, it continues on this side as you open it up. All right, so why would we want a glass that runs 45-45 versus a glass that runs 0-90? And it has to do with application. When considering the design of the bottom of a boat, one of our biggest concerns is panel stiffness. Or in other words, every time the boat smacks the water, there's an impact. That panel needs to be stiff enough that it doesn't bend and break. It needs to bend only a little bit to absorb the impact, but if it bends too much, it breaks. Now, if we built, when we build our boats, we use plywood. Plywood is already oriented in a 0-90 direction, kind of like this. So when you cut the plywood and you lay it on the bottom of the boat, the plies of the plywood run front to back of the boat and side to side of the boat. So if we were to add 090 cloth to that plywood, we would increase the stiffness in the 090 direction only. All right. In some applications that may be needed. For example, on our FRS 18, the shape of the hull bottom, um, the plywood, the thickest plywood that will bend is 3 8 but the best plywood solution for that boat would be half inch in terms of stiffness. So we use a 090 cloth on that boat. However, 090 doesn't bend as well. As you can see, it kind of doesn't want to take the shape. It's a little stiffer. But on most of our boats, we're able to get the plywood stiffness in the 090 direction sufficiently so that we can use this 45-45. So you see 45-45, when I lay it down, it'll kind of stay. So this, um, when you pull a, an epoxy fillet between a stringer and the bottom, or you wrap around a corner, this is much more pliable, it's soft, it takes the shape, 
and it absorbs the resin and kind of holds in. You don't have to fight it as much as you do the 090. <clears throat> now let's look at the particular the uh, common ones that we use on our models. So on the FRS uh, 12 and 14, and also on some of the parts of the FRS 15, we use this 10 ounce cloth. You notice the cloth, it's woven in a 090 direction, but this cloth is very soft. It's not nearly as stiff as this 090 stitch. This is a very lightweight, it's only 10 ounces. So this is really good when you just need a little bit of abrasion resistance. Plywood is plenty stiff enough on your own, but you just don't want it scratching up. But for example, on the bottom of the FRS 15, we use this 1208. So this, if you look at it here, it's 4545. So remember we just said that on the plywoods going 090, the 4545 bends and conforms better. Another advantage to the 4545 is that it adds stiffness in the 4545 direction. So now, not only is the boat panel stiff front to back and left to right, it's also stiff in an X pattern. So we get a much more uniform uh, stiffness of the panel. <clears throat> some, of the some of the fiberglass here, uh, let we'll focus here on these first four numbers. So the first two numbers will be your your woven part or your stitched part. And the last two numbers will be if you have a chop strand mat on the back, and this one does. So the chop strand mat is very thin, and it is randomly oriented strands. Here's a piece of just the mat. So this is real easy to bend. It really doesn't do much more other than hold resin. <clears throat> the res when you use chop strand mat, you get most of your stiffness and strength from just the resin. Uh, a little comes from the mat, but not nearly as much as the woven part or the stitched part. So the purpose of the mat on this 1208 and the application that we use it in is to make sure we get a really good bond between the wood and then when we lay the glass on it, that we're going to hold a nice good amount of resin between the wood and the glass, make sure it bonds really well. That's the purpose of it. Yes, it will soak up more resin that way. Um, but I don't think that maybe the extra gallon or so of resin is, is a bad thing when it comes to the strength and integrity of the structural components of a boat. Now, as you get into some of our bigger models, like the FRS 18, we have an 1808. So notice this one has got the, the 090 direction. And we already talked about why we do that because of the 3 8 plywood on the bottom. But it also has a mat on the back. Once again, the mat makes sure we got a good amount of resin between the plywood and the glass. Uh, one detail about that is, is plywood, um, <clears throat> excuse me, as epoxy cures on the plywood, the wood will continue to absorb. So by making sure we have a mat on the back and we get plenty of resin, we're not going to pull the resin out of the front of this into the wood and compromise our bond. As you can see, this one's pretty stiff, so I'm... I'm it's not my, my glass of choice. I really like a 1208 or uh, a 1708, which is just the same as the 1208, except it's got a heavier glass weave um, in the biaxial. The chop strand mat is just the same. So let's talk a little bit more about the numbering. So we said 1808 is four digits. The first two digits are the weave or the stitch part, and the second two digits are the chop strand mat. So for example, on 1808, that means that our first layer of our stitched glass, our biax itself, is 18 ounces. But 08, or three quarters of an ounce, is the chop strand mat on the back. So if you think about 1708 and 1808, there's only one ounce difference. You can purchase almost any configuration because the fiberglass mills can make specialty fabrics um, and run off rolls and stitch them together. But on, when you go to the market, most of the time, the 1808 and the 1708 will be sold with the 1708 as a 4545 
and 1808 is a 090. So you should pay close attention to the not to the description and the detail of what you're buying as far as if you're getting a 090 or a 4545. So a lot of times if you're getting a 090, there will be a letter designated such as an L or an LT, where if you're getting a 45, it may have an X or a BX, and the X is letting you know the 45, So and then the L is normally letting you know the 090. So a common concern that people have with fiberglass is hey, that stuff's gonna make me itchy. Because at some point in time, they've worked on an old boat that was fiberglass where they had the grinder sand and it put all these small glass fibers in the air, stuck into their skin and made them itchy. Well, new fiberglass handles a lot differently than old fiberglass that you're repairing. So the itchiest of all is gonna be the chop strand mat. So if you see here, all these tiny little strands, they separate really easy. So if you were to take and rub this on your skin or on any surface, they would start just coming apart and all these little short pieces would start floating around. So that's gonna be the itchiest option. However, we don't really specify using this alone. Most of our glass on our easier or <clears throat> on our easier to build boats like the FRS 12 and 14 is this glass right here. Um, I can rub this on my skin all day long. I could just sit here and rub it. I'm not going to itch. It's not going to bother me because it's not short, chopped up little fibers that are coming out. It's long, continuous strands. Now, as you step up, step up to some of our other boats, we'll use the, um, like the 1208, 1708, where we have a little bit of chop strand mat on the back. But the thing to notice here is look at this stitching that we talked about. It holds the 45-45 together, but it has a second purpose. It holds the mat onto the back of the biaxle. So you don't have this kind of coming off and floating. It's stitched down and held in place. So while there will be a few that come out of the edge when you cut it, it will not come apart nearly as easy as this. So it's much easier to work with. Also, keep in mind, as you take this fiberglass, you'll be wearing gloves. You'll pick it up and you'll lay it down against your plywood. You have just taken all of the itchy stuff and trapped it between the plywood and the glass. So it's not gonna come out as you're working with it. You've separated it from you. So that's another advantage to building this way. 